Have you seen that Alzheimer's is becoming, is happening to younger people, or is it just that there's more people who are living to the age where you get Alzheimer's? Well, Alzheimer's is becoming more prevalent because people are living longer. Mm. And that's a separate question from why are we seeing more young people with Alzheimer's? Right. And it could just be that we didn't pay attention before. It could just be that we're more aware of it. Or there could be something going on. Most early onset cases under 60 are genetic. But um, I do worry about whether there's environmental factors that might be causing earlier cases of Alzheimer's. We don't know yet. You know, um, I think we got to also pay attention to whether, you know, Alzheimer's can be initially triggered by things like prions, you know, from tainted beef. Mm -hmm. You know, there was the whole tainted beef scare in the 80s in, in Britain and and it also spread to the U.S. So I don't know if we've looked enough at whether there are environmental factors that may be causing the initial match that's causing tangles and inflammation, maybe not just amyloid, because um, you are seeing more dementia in general among early in, in the early at earlier ages. And it may just be well, now we look for it and we're, we're, we're keeping an eye out for it, but there may be something else going on. We don't know yet. Right. Um, could, could you very briefly uh, explain? So what is your protocol for staying healthy? I follow SHIELD. I follow SHIELD. Follow I get you. seven to eight hours of sleep on weekdays. I get eight to nine on weekends. I, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I eat a plant-based diet. I exercise every single day, stay socially active. Um, obviously, part of my job is learning new things. Um, so I strictly follow sleep. I meditate, handle stress. I try to stay mindful, try to stay task driven. I try not to have an idle mind. Um, I, I interact with many people. I exercise, always learning something new and I keep my diet plant-based. And I think there are no guarantees, but I think that's the best thing you can do. Monitor your blood pressure. I don't smoke cigarettes and you want to monitor your blood pressure because that's a big risk factor. These are things you can do. Monitor your diabetic status. That's a big thing you can do as well. Right. So thank you so much. So, and thank you so much for all the work you're doing. Um, I mean, Alzheimer's is such a big problem and, and growing and it, such an important area of study. And it's really great that people like you are trying to resolve it or hopefully cure it. I mean, that would be, that would be the best. So um, thank you so much for coming on our channel. And um, yeah, I really hope it was great to talk to you and I hope that we get the opportunity to talk again. Well, thank you. Thanks for the discussion. It was, it was a lot of fun and, and I, I hope um, your audience um, will learn, learn a thing or two and might, might help, help benefit their brain health. So. I'm sure they will learn a lot, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you.